Hey everyone, this is a little series of definitions of words that we use a lot so that we're we're sort of all on the same page with it. Um, and we're going to look at today at program. What what do we mean when we say program? I say it a lot. <laughs> and um, what is it? So when we say the word program, what we are referring to is this apparent body mind system. And it's experience of being alive, it's experience of being a self, it's experience of the world and other people. And we are considering that the entirety of that experience is coming from a, a, a program either of genetic inheritance or of conditioning from conception which has subconsciously with no one doing this no no entity in the middle of the mind body system deciding what gets believed or not just a an automatic process in which beliefs are acquired learning is is acquired meaning is acquired reactions are acquired um a a a and assume assumptions required and all of this is is subconsciously held and and when we say subconsciously what what even where even is that really um but it's some it's somehow within this mind brain body system isn't it chemical physical system um there's a there's a program running and it can't really be found anywhere. We can't, we can't like the, the infinite amount of data of which it's made up of means that we can't ever, like, like we do with, with the um, genetic code, you know, we, we can't unravel it and say this, you know, you're like this because of, of this gene here. No, it's infinite amounts of data held subconsciously that are dictating the way all experience appears it's amazing isn't it and and it seems to me that the recognition of that and the recognition that that is itself the entirety of that is held in perception so so even the way that we're we're talking about conditioning is a product of conditioning, isn't it? So it's sort of it's never ending, really. But the recognition of it as an, an as an apparent reality, an apparent experience, an apparent mind body here, um, allows for us to have this conversation without spiritual bypass, because it allows us to do two things. It allows us to recognize that none of it exists none of it without the infinite and absolute that makes it possible the, the the aliveness the consciousness the beingness the intelligence indivisible no boundaries and and yet it's that which allows for any experience of being to take place and at the same time it recognizes that there is an experience of being that there is that there is content that there is form it, it recognizes the elements that go into forming that experience so we, we are not denying childhood and, and trauma and, and the things that shape the things that create our insecurities our shames our needs our fears and we're saying all of that is a program being played out in the mind body um, that, that, is, that is experienced as an apparent reality <clears throat> and which is, and of which none of it is set in stone. None of it, all, all of it is transient. All of it is ultimately available for dissolution really because it's it's acquired you know it, it's sort of it's held as a, as a temporary um structure 
but it's it it the, the, there is no permanence to it there is actually no truth to it and and each shift of recognition within the system of what's true allows for elements of that program to fall away because they're just not supported anymore they can't exist without a, a, a foundational belief and when that belief has shifted particularly that unquestioned belief of myself is separate from intelligence from consciousness from love from peace and and shifting more and more into the deep profound knowing which was always there of what we really are then all sorts of things fall away from the program it's like really literally we wake up as a different person in a different reality um so that's the program cool isn't it lots of love bye